on the last superhuman samurai cyber squad. It's the old story. Boy meets girl. Hark. A woman looking for a little magic in her life? What? Boy loses girl. Sam! Sam! Step, Step out, out of the, the truck, truck with your hands up! I never want to see you again, Sam. Never. Boy gets attacked by Mega Virus Monster. Don't touch that dial. Ugh. The evil Kilo Khan lives inside computer circuits. With the help of Malcolm Frink, he creates megavirus monsters to attack electronic systems. Meanwhile, a freak accident turns Sam Collins into Servo. His friends join forces in their samurai's attack vehicles. Together, they transform into the Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad. Superhuman Samurai. Sam, Jennifer will forgive you someday. Yeah, like when new kids on the block have a new hit. <laughs> but it wasn't your fault she got arrested. It was the computer. Uh, darn computer. Never going back in there ever. You know, I, I don't want to be Servo. I just want to be a regular singer-songwriter in a band with many adoring fans. That's it. I'll write Jennifer a song and dedicate it to her at the school dance. <laughs> and you'll break her heart and she'll come running back to you, right? Sydney the Psychic. <laughs> See, uh, what rhymes with Jennifer? Belt sander? <laughs> Thank. I love how your alleged mind works. Um, I don't mean to be in Captain Bringdown, but what about the band guys? We still don't have a bass player. Oh, yeah. I wonder if Amp found out anything. May the riders of darkness never find you silverless. <laughs> uh, Amp. Please say you have good news. Sorry, my brother can't be your bass player. He's going back to college. Oh, man. But he said he could have his extra bass. What good is it without a player? And this never occurred to me. Can you play a bass like that? No. Mm. But I can play it like this. Uh, you play. Great. Gee, that's what my brother said when he asked me for lessons. You taught your older brother? Well, he was younger then. Uh, Welcome to Team Samurai, buddy. Samurai, where? Where? <laughs> that's the name of our band. Oh, konnichiwa. <laughs> uh, gesundheit. <laughs> well, harder number one passed, but we still don't have permission to play at the school dance. Oh, that's right, Sammy. And Principal Pratchett doesn't trust you any further than he can spit a wrench. Oh, ye of little faith and fashion sense. Leave Principal Pratchett to me. Jen, what was it like in jail? Horrible. Don't remind me. You were only there an hour. Look, would you just drop it? Sorry. Boy, talk about your crummy dates, huh? Yeah, one minute I'm in the front seat of Sam's truck watching Space Kittens from Neptune, and the next I'm in the back seat of a squad car watching a police dog drool all over my shoes. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Yoli. Guess what? You bought two tickets to the Pearl Jam concert? Nah, too expensive. Besides, what would I do with two tickets anyway? Oh, ask out a good friend, a special friend. Good idea. I'll bet Robin, my chameleon, would love to go. You have a chameleon named Robin? And a Robin named Chameleon. I like symmetry. So what's your big news, Mr. Symmetry? I'm going to play bass in Team Samurai. I'm in Sam Collins' band. Who cares? Ooh, do I sense a little ill will? Uh, you sort of stepped into a minefield. I'll tell you about it later. I stepped into something worse once. Oh, uh, thank you. It was a bear trap. That's right, nice, Amp. Sorry, he didn't know. That's okay. Let's just drop this whole subject, okay? I don't ever want to be reminded of this mess again. Oh, hi, girls. Oh, hi, Daddy. Hi, Principal Pratchett. And say, Jennifer, what's this I hear about you going to jail? Daddy! What do I say? She's mad at Sam Collins. Ah, boy trouble, huh? Oh, Daddy, what would you know about boys? Why, well, I was one. 
sorry. Not as sorry as me. This whole mess is gonna follow me around the rest of my life. I wish I'd never met Sam Collins. Here, here. Oh, shut up, Malcolm. What did I do? You were born a male. Sorry. Hmm. Ah, Mr. Starkey, how's the soup today? Great. Want a piece? Uh, uh, I think I'll try the pudding instead. Okay, but watch out for the bones. Can I buy potato chips? Sure. Oh, here, Principal Pratchett. I'll pay for that. Sam, what are you up to? Well, frankly, sir, I'm a little concerned that no one's going to show up at the dance. Here, you know, there seems to be some sort of prejudice against recorded music. Just listen. Boy, Sid, I'd study twice as hard if I knew there was going to be a live band tonight. Me too. I heard live music makes your grade point average go up. Yeah, and it clears up acne too. I guess we'll just have to transfer to another school along with the other 300 kids. <sighs> Do you hear that? They're leaving in droves. Oh no. If school enrollment drops, I'll lose my parking spot. I need a band fast. Oh, well. You know, I just found this on the floor. Team Samurai, the cutting edge of rock. Lead singer and manager, Sam Collins. What a coincidence. That's me. All right, Sam. You can play tonight. But let me warn you, if you fail to deliver the goods, like the time Tipper Corps was supposed to teach the hip-hop class, you can forward all your mail to detention. Oh, I promise, sir. Cross my overflowing heart. I won't let you down. Mm. Oh, God bless you, sir. Hey, kids, work on your acting, huh? Well, tune your drumsticks. We got a gig. Oh, yes! yes. Oh, yes. Oh. Uh, don't, just don't. But I just wanted to tell you about the dance. Forget it. I wouldn't go with you for all the t-shirts in China. But in fact, I'm going alone. Gee, tough luck, Sam. Looks like you've lost her. Well, at least she'll be there. Maybe when she hears a song, she'll give me a second chance. Song? Yeah, and it's really beautiful. <laughs> I wish someone would write a song for me. Oh, uh, oh, sure. Quick, what rhymes with Sydney? A kidney. I don't care if your song cures cancer, Sam. It won't do any good if nobody ever hears it. <laughs> more Superhuman Samurai after this. And now, more Superhuman Samurai. Yes. Ah, uh, this is going to be a good one. This will wreak major havoc for young Mr. Collins. Kilo Khan, answer me from the digital world. Ah, the Malcolm meat thing. Frank, Malcolm Frank, you cretin. As you say, do you have a computer virus for me, Frank thing? Yes, I call it quite simply, Trembulor. What does it do? It stops nasty little guitar players from reaching their appointments. It uses government defense satellites to put an invisible wall around Sam's house. Why not around the whole Earth? Yes. So let it be programmed. So let it be done. Go on, you ugly welt. Off to the satellite dish.
<laughs> oh, hello, Mrs. Starkey. And back at you. How was your day, dude? Whew. I got two teachers out sick, five students in detention, one irate father on the phone, one irate mother in my office, and 27 sudden cases of swine flu just before the big history test. Ah, a slow one, huh? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> but, TGIF. <laughs> so, what time does the uh, decorating committee get here? Oh, in about 15 minutes. Mm. Ah, balloons and crepe paper. Crepe paper and balloons. You know, I don't think high school dances will ever change. Actually, at my high school, we hung inflated goat bladders in barbed wire. You did? It's a joke. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> so you actually hired Sam's band, huh? Yeah. Can you believe it? Am I an idiot or what? Don't answer that. No, he'll do fine. Sam's a good kid and so are his chums. Yeah, I think you're right. This news bulletin just in. Government officials have announced that one of their defense satellites has malfunctioned and has fired an ionizing ray at the Earth. As the satellite circles the globe, it is leaving a shimmering power barrier in its wake. The result is that an impenetrable barrier is being built completely around the planet, like a gigantic Berlin Wall. One side of the Earth is cut off from the other. And to make matters worse, the wall has run right down the middle of our city. Hey, hey, guys. Guys, can you please keep quiet? I got one more verse to write, OK? Hey, you guys. Yeah, yeah, thanks, Elizabeth. Mama, let me turn on the oven. Enjoy! Bad news, guys. The price of goat cheese has doubled. Worse, there's a big hunk of power barrier running around the globe. Phew. Now I don't have to stock up. Uh, you don't get it. It's an 8,000-mile wall that divides one half of the Earth from the other. Jets can't go over it, subs can't go under it, and we can't drive through it. So? Uh, so, uh, the school's on the other side. We're going to miss our gig tonight. More Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad after this. And now, more Superhuman Samurai. The TV news says a satellite computer went haywire. Computer? Sam, old buddy, this looks like a job for Servo. No way. I'm not going back in there. It's caused me nothing but trouble. But, Sam, you're the only one who can do this. So what? So? So the world needs you. Jennifer needs you. We need you. Fine. You win. At least you'll look good on my resume. Sam Collins, Planet Saver. I know I usually do, but am I missing something here? Oh, that's right. Aunt missed it all. All right, Aunt. Now that you're part of Team Samurai, you got to promise not to tell anybody. I am a digital superhero. Whatever, man. Just stand back. You ready? Ready. Okay. Let's sunrise, guys! Well, I'll be a monkey's carbuncle. You don't know the half of it. Wait until you see what else this program can do. Sammy, you can take this guy. I'm going to analyze Servo's defense system. Ah! Ah! He's sucking up all my energy. 
Can't fight anymore. Sam's lost eighty percent of his power. Sydney, ah! help! Hold on, I think I've found something. Something that can help Servo. These two ships, Vitor and Tracto, seem to be some sort of body armor. Wait! There's a third ship called Boar. I think this is all part of Servo's defense matrix. Defense? Well, Sam needs that. Can you get it to him? I'm trying. I've just got to... Uh-oh. Relax, guys. Just follow my lead. We're controlling the body armor vehicles. We're in the digital world. Check your readouts. I'm in Boar, Tanker's in Tracto, and Amp is in Vitor. That's all I need to know. Let's kick some giga butt. Pump up the power. Woohoo! Yes. <sighs> Servo, we're coming in with some body armor for you. Steer clear of that megavirus monster if you can. You guys keep that porcupine busy. Servo, over here! Thanks for coming. My door, you take the front door, I'll go around back. Roger Wilcox. Imagine! Teenagers with air-to-ground missiles! Time for some more armor. Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad. More Superhuman Samurai after this. And now, back to our show. We are the Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad. Electrons bit by bit. Then in the game of life, I guess that makes you a bit player. You will not escape me. You don't scare me, Killicon. Anytime you want to fight, the Cyber Squad will be there. I will not forget this, Servo. 
In a strange turn of events, the malfunctioning defense satellite dismantled its power barrier just a few minutes ago. Scientists are not sure of the cause, but Dr. Hayward of NASA said, it's almost as if the satellite computer repaired itself. The entire world breathes a sigh of relief. Nice that mysterious wall around the planet vanished. Yeah. Now I've only got one problem, Sam Collins. You know, if he doesn't show up, I'm gonna dice him into little pieces. Then can I have him for my soup stock? <laughs> it's a joke. Don't bother looking for Sam. I don't think he's going to make it. Fine, I didn't come to see him anyway. Good. Never fear, Team Samurai is here. Thank you, thank you. Okay, uh, I'd like to dedicate our first song to a very special person out there. I uh, wrote the song the other day, and uh, well, it's called Jennifer. I love the song. Oh. Do you forgive me? Does that answer your question? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Enjoy it while you can, Sam. But after tonight, I will do everything I can to win her back. Ew, what is this stuff? Soy sauce. Salsa, and on you, Malcolm, it looks good. <laughs> In the digital domain, evil doers may appear. Trouble starts brewing. <laughs> and 